children are in the street killing each other because there is no good education system accommodating them. They are excluding them because the school find it easier to throw the children in the street and to give them two cars to kill each other. It is very easy for the government to say, oh, this child is not fitting to our system and leaving, leaving them in the street to drug dealing because they don't want to let, take the responsibility to find good employment system that doesn't base on discrimination and corruption. Do not tell me about referencing because I know. I graduated from Sheffield University as a PhD holder and I know how referencing system for the Bayman community. So having no children able to reach to high education and getting are able to get to good level of employability is a big reason or big reason for gangling and drugs. We know that the, a lot of leaders of the community are like, I hope they are hearing me now. We know your children are involved in drugs. We know your children are involved in violence. And you are feeding this for different purposes. You are not welcome to do this in our community. You are not welcome to do this in our community. I want for my children, my children, all of my children in this city to live in peace, happiness. They have the right to grow in a clean and happy place. I don't care about your politics, I don't care about your education, I don't care about racism, I don't care about your stupidity. I want a safe place for my children to grow and live. They have, it's a human right. It's a very simple human right to live. It's a very simple human right to educate. It's a very simple human right to have your life gained by our children became tools. They became tools for drug dealers. They became tools for the politicians. They became tools for those nasty people who do not care about anything except feeding their pockets with money. Our, to, our children will not be tools. Our children will not be tools. And as Moms United, we are not powerless, believe me. We are not powerless. We have the power to change and we will change. Thank you very much for coming today. And we are going to Thank you, Shahad. Hi, my name is Jenna from Arbathorn area. I'm going to keep this very short because we're going to hear from the young people very, very soon. And our amazing uh, guests who've come from London today. I just want to say, if you're looking, if you're at this protest right now, can you tell me who is your MP? Where in Sheffield do you live and who is your MP? Look around left and right, can you see your MP? Look around left and right, can you see any representative in South Yorkshire Police here today? Can you see any representative from social services here today? Can you see anybody from the education department here today? Can you see the police crime commissioner here today? Well, let me tell you every single one. Invited, and every single one of them could not attend. So, Sheffield, the people who are supposed to be looking after your children and mine, send their apologies. Shame Boo on them. to them! Shame on them! First and foremost, I thank each and every one of you for coming here. It is something for us to ponder upon. My background, my background, and my background is in the legal sector, and not only the legal sector, but I'm a representative of Interpay. It is very important to voice our concerns because our children are our future. Hands up if you agree with me. I'm delighted to be part of this peace war. Why? Because enough is enough. Say anything. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I agree to the MPs. 
local MP, and I plead to the interfaith community that I am a part of, that we, as part of this community and many communities, we want to represent every individual, irrespective of your background, irrespective of your belief, of your culture, whatever, whoever, whichever background you come from, it is very important to raise one concern, and that is our children are our future. So enough is enough. Enough is enough. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Moons United for playing this great sort of part coming forward. So thank you very much, Sai and the team. Round of applause for them. Okay, um, we're going to hand it over to Quinton Reed, uh, who will be performing, and then we will hear from you. Amazing.